Stop. Don't scroll. Y'all been asking me for years. Which books have helped me get to this point? Which books do I suggest for anybody who wants to be in the music business or in the music industry? I have a book list on my bio on Instagram. We can scroll all the way down and you can see what books I suggest. But you know what? I decided to do a video because y'all don't like clicking and y'all don't like reading. So why the hell do I keep telling y'all to go to book list when you ain't going to do it? So now I'm going to give you the five books that I suggest that anybody in the music business or the music industry needs to read. You know, watch the music video to get all five books. I'm going to put affiliate links for each of the books in the description on YouTube. So make sure you click them and buy them from there. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit share. Make sure you subscribe, follow, save, comment, and all other points of engagement because, you know... This is the YouTube game we playing. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from GroupEddy2University.com. Right here, I'm going to talk to y'all about the five best music business books for anybody who's interested in marketing their music or being an independent artist or even a signed artist. So here we go. Book number one, How to Get One Million Streams on Spotify by Dorian. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to tell you to download my book. First of all, it's free at group 2 musiccom backslash ebook. The reason I made this ebook because when we launched group 2 musiccom I wanted to find a way to give value to the people who would come to our website and as a way to build our email list. So what I did, I wrote an ebook talking about the 10 things that I did in order to get 1 million streams on Spotify. And for anybody who was just starting out, I absolutely suggest downloading this book. Although I wrote it back in 2017 or 2018, can remember which year it was, it's still extremely relevant today. Anybody who is trying to get started in the music business, download because you're going to need a logo, going to need a cover art, going to need a website, going to need a Wikipedia, going to need a biography. It's going to talk about the early streaming game. I updated a little bit a couple of years ago. So make sure that you put your email in, click the link at groupa2music.com backslash ebook. It's free. Download it and start following the steps. That's going to put you on the path to get 1 million streams on Spotify. The second book that I think everybody in the music business or music industry or anybody who's in music marketing needs to get is Donald Pass's book, All You Need to Know About the Music Business. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. This book is difficult, okay? I'm somebody who went to Indiana for undergrad, got a bachelor's, I got a master's in education. You know, I do research. I've worked in labs. I'm blah, 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 blah. Okay, this book is very legal mumble jumbo heavy but i'm a firm believer in just exposing yourself to the content even though you might not be receiving it all you are taking some of it in if you just look at it and you read it it's how i am with my daughter no she's not comprehending everything i'm saying right now because she's so young but she's feeling that energy i know some of that stuff is seeping in it's gonna stay with her for the rest of her life and i firmly believe that about reading if you just start reading this book you have your brain start forming and thinking like a music industry professional you're gonna start seeing the world different you're gonna start reading music business articles different you're gonna start looking at record labels different you're gonna start looking at contracts different because they actually show you a contract in there and what you need to watch for it so the book isn't short it's difficult but if you are somebody who was serious about the music business i highly believe going through this entire book even if you don't comprehend anything but five percent of it at least you read this entire book and you have somewhat of a grasp on how the music industry really works the third book that I think anybody in the music business or in music marketing should absolutely get is one of the best marketing books I ever read. It's called Growth Hacker Marketing by Ryan Holiday. I don't even know how I found out about this book, but that book is was not for the music business. It's just about marketing in general. So for example, Growth Hacker Marketing is getting people to give you the action that you want at a very, very low cost, which is usually free. That's going to make you money. So for example, I believe in these books. But did I go and open up a bookstore or go compete at Amazon or Barnes and Nobles? No, I didn't do that. What did I do? I decided to make a video on my YouTube channel, which has 100,000 subscribers, on my Instagram page, which has 93,000 followers. And I'm going to talk about the top five best music business books. Why? Because I've done my research. I'm going to have a video about this on how I find this stuff out. And this is one of the highest search music marketing topics. Where are the best music business books? 
So I put the title, Music Marketing Expert Exposes Best Music Business Books. And what does this do? It brings people to my page. It brings people to my channel. Y'all watch the video. There are ads in this video, so I'm gonna get paid off of that. And if you click the links, I'm going to get paid off of that. That is growth hacker marketing. Instead of standing in front of someone saying, hey, buy these five books, I found a way to seamlessly do it while getting paid in the process. This book taught me to view business like that. So the true support campaign, for my album that went number one on iTunes. I had a growth hacker marketing strategy in that where what I did is anybody who went and bought my album on iTunes and sent us the receipt, we gave them a free Spotify playlist placement on the Spotify players that we owned. Those playlist places were going for 200, 300, some cases $500, but because they bought the album, I gave it to them for free. Now, why would I do that? Because I wanted my album sales to go up. Why? So I could chart number one on iTunes, which ended up getting me verified on Instagram. Growth hacker marketing marketing. Y'all be wondering how I know all this marketing stuff or how I'm able to see the world the way that I do. This book helped me. This was the beginning of me changing my mentality on how I market. So I highly suggest anybody who's in business to download this book, buy this book. Click that link right now. The fourth book that I think everybody who's a music business professional or in music marketing should read is called Hit Men, Power Brokers, and Fast Money Inside the Music Business. Now, this book is about 1950s, 60s, 70s radio promotion. It talks about payola. It talks about all the illegal stuff that was going down, but it gives you an idea of how the music business truly works and where it came from and what's the history of it. One thing that really stood out to me in this book was there was a guy. He was a Jewish fella. I can't remember his name but he was living in his apartment in LA and I'm gonna tell you why the point of him being Jewish is really important and he said somebody came by his apartment knocking trying to sell him something I want to say he was selling Bibles but I could be wrong it's been some years since I read the book and I didn't refresh it for this video so kiss my ass but the dude opened the door. He told the guy his name. He had a traditionally sounding Jewish last name. The guy selling the Bibles asked him, hey, are you Jewish? He said, yeah, I am Jewish. And they started having a conversation. And he asked him, have you ever thought about getting into the music business? He was like, nah, I don't know anything about the music business. He said, you ain't got to know nothing about the music business to get in the music business. And he gave him game on how to get in the music business. And this guy, one of the hit men, one of the power brokers, one of the guys that was in charge of getting songs played on the radio, one of the most powerful people in the music industry, that's how he got in. And I can't remember their name. But like I said, when you start reading these books, you get exposed to the energy and that's more important. That energy of somebody who had the same cultural background and even though this dude really didn't know what to do with it, he could help him get into a business that has made billions and billions of dollars is crazy. And it made me really think about what our community needs to do. So I highly suggest reading this book just so you can get an idea how the music industry was at that time and how it still works today. And the way I found out about this book, was through the fifth and final book I suggest everybody buy. And that's Decoded by Jay-Z. Now, I know a lot of y'all are saying, why would I buy a rapper's book with him talking about his lyrics for music marketing or about the music business? Well, first of all, jay Z's one of the best music business professionals in the history of people, number one. Number two, he gives a lot of anecdotes in there about how he wrote the songs or what was going on in his life and talking about his life story or even this. He talked about the independent grind, how him and Biggs and Dame had read the hit men and that's how they knew how the music industry worked and that's how they knew what their value was so you get a lot of gems in these books and when somebody says that they read this or they suggest that i go grab it so this book decoded by jay-z is amazing not just for jay-z fans the lyrics are going to be broken down you're going to get all that but the anecdotes that he gives you on his grind on his journey to becoming a billionaire where else can you really get that so those are the five books, how to get 1 million streams on Spotify, group82music.com. All you need to know about the music business by Donald Passman, Growth Hacker Marketing by Ryan Holiday, Hit Men, Power Brokers, and Fast Money Inside the Music Business, and Decoded by Jay-Z. All those links are below. Go click and buy them right now. If there's any books that have helped you along the way in your music marketing or music business journey, go ahead and write them in the comments right now because we all can benefit from that. But no matter what book you read, you got to know how to execute. You got to have systems. You got to have plans. And if you got dope music, you got to know how to market it, which is why we got the music marketing class, how to market your music on social media. You can get started in the class for one payment. You can do the rest through PayPal over the next two months through PayPal credit, which is a great system for you to do that. Makes your first payment really, really cheap. In addition to that, I teach you how to chart number one on iTunes. I teach you how to get millions of streams on Spotify. I teach you how to hire a team with no money. I teach you how to make over $100,000. I teach you how to get paid from your music every single day like I am right now, how to get these 
plaques because that's what everybody wants as an independent artist. So if you want to mimic my career in any capacity or if you want their financial freedom that being a music entrepreneur or a music marketing expert gives you, if you're on Instagram, click that link up top. You're on YouTube, click the link in the box. Mount the pond. Y'all stay true. Scrum. Scrum. Group82University.com.